Okay guys, I'm here today with my first project pan video. I briefly touched on my products I'd wanted to use up in 2014 that I was going to start doing the project pans for the year of 2015. If you're new to project painting, which I'm still incredibly new, um, it is, it is like this whole little community on YouTube and I'll, um, there's one lady that makes some videos about it and she recently put up a video and it's basically like project painting 101 or something like that where she tells you everything you need to know about it so I'll be sure to link her video down below so you can check that out but it's basically you know I've been doing all this decluttering and that's great getting out stuff that I don't use but a lot of stuff you have and you really like but you may not use or you'll use it until you've almost used it up and then you put it aside and pull out something new because you get a bunch of new stuff and you want to use the stuff that you have. You want to use the stuff that you paid good money for. You want to get the use out of the products. And that's basically what this is. So I'm going to do that through this year. And I would like to do three rounds. So three rounds of Project 10 pans would be 30 products. 30 makeup products. This is all makeup. I may do like a project, like some kind of challenge for like skincare or a body or hair. I don't know, but this is strictly makeup. So, to use up 30 makeup products, I mean, to me, that's a lot. I don't even know how many I used up in 2014. Probably not 30. So, and it's just, I, I don't know. I think it will be fun. So, let me just get started. I'm going to show you my 10 products I picked out this time. And everybody that I've read about says for your first project pan to pick things that are really small that way you can get like momentum and you know it gives you like the initiative to keep going because you're actually seeing some progress because I know some points in time you're going to pick a product that is going to be really has a lot of longevity and I don't want to start out my project pan like that like I would like to use up a blush or a bronzer or something like that but those take a long time and a lot of dedication and hard work and I just don't want to set up my first one for failure, you know? So, anyways, that's what I'm doing. So, some of these you may think are disappointing. And I'm strictly doing makeup and makeup byproducts. So, we'll get started with that. First off is an Urban Decay D-Slig Old Control Makeup Setting Spray. This is the baby sample size. And I went ahead and marked my stuff because that's what everybody does so they can see their progress. That's where I am on that. It was kind of hard to tell. So, I'll give you a peek. I looked in and where I saw the product is where I marked it. And this is not a makeup product, but you only use it with makeup. And I have a full size D-Slick and I have another baby size all-nighter. So I need to get this used because it's not a bad product. I just don't think to use it. So this is number one. Then number two is this is the Philosophy The Present Clear Makeup. It's basically a primer. I used to use this a lot back in the day, like all the time, way before I got into YouTube. And it just kind of like perfects your skin and makes it look like a little more like clear makeup, you know? But I did try to use this under my Kat Von D ta Tattoo Locket Foundation the other day. and It was a disaster. Like I could not get my foundation to spread over that. So, I don't know. I need to try it with other foundations and it may be something I use on days where I'm just not using any makeup. So, it's a two ounce. I have less than half, so we'll see. And then for foundation, I have my Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. That is how much I have left. Um, I'll show you how I got to that mark. I know I have that much. Okay, so you can see, um, not a whole lot. I've used up a lot. It's what I wear just on a day-to-day -day basis. But I do want something with a little more full coverage. So I probably won't be purchasing this when I run out or for a while until my skin starts looking a little bit better or something like that. But this is a very nice product. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's very pale. I can only use it in the winter. It doesn't provide a lot of coverage. So, and it's a nice product. So I just want to use it. So that's my first three. And then this is not old by any means. But I'm trying to pick up things that I don't mind using that I can use in conjunction. Like, I don't want to pick out five concealers. But I want them to also be small. So, this is the Burberry Fresh Go Glow Luminous Fluid Base in number one nude radiance that I just got in my Laura Sample Society box. And that's how much I have. 
and I mix this in with my foundation and I really like how it looks um I don't think I will go purchase the full size because I don't like how it looks that much because I do like my MAC strobe cream but I have been enjoying this and it doesn't bother me to use it every day and use it up then I have a concealer and this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi in Ivory. That's where I am. Um, I put this over like a like a pink toned correcting concealer every day. I have really enjoyed this. I was using other products and then I did a get ready with me drugstore. And so I went digging in my collection for a drugstore concealer and I found this and pulled it back out. And I actually have the radiant one as much. I mean, I have the radiant one. I don't like it as much, but I'm also using a different radiant thing. Um, but I really like this. I would hands down repurchase this if I needed one. It isn't the most full coverage, but I don't have a lot of bad under eye issues. So it, it suits my needs and it's quite nice. So I like it a lot. And then I have my eyeshadow base from NARS. This is not that I'm trying to get rid of this because I don't like it because to me an eyeshadow base either works for you or it doesn't. I'm not going to keep around ones that don't work and I'm not going to use them if they don't work. Now I have a bunch of round cream eyeshadow pots and a lot of times I can get away with using them by themselves without an eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I can't but even those I still like to use over this. So those don't like replace this but I do have an Urban Decay anti-aging one that I'm going to try when this is gone and see if this works. I used to use the regular one back in the day, but it started giving me like eczema on my eyelids. So I had to quit the Urban Decay, but I used to really enjoy it. So we'll see if I like this. If not, then I will have to repurchase this one because that's one of those products like you, you can't go without mascara. I can't go without a primer. And this I couldn't get any more out so I had to take the stopper out and you can see there's not a whole lot left like I can scrape I, mean, I can still scrape a good bit off of the sides but you know so we'll see how that goes then this it almost feels like it's cheating but it's not it's my it cosmetics brow that's all I have left and you may say come on that's hardly any I mean it was probably like up to there like three months ago so this bad boy last and last and last so I'm sticking it in and then I have an Urban Decay 24-7 dual ended pencil and I'm gonna count this as two you might say once again that's not very fair but you know and I don't know how to measure this, so what I'm going to do is put the clear cap there, and you can see the eyeliner is just a tad bit taller than the clear cap. And then on this end, the clear cap gets to where the eyeliner about starts. So we'll have to remember that. And I have been using this every day, both sides, and I like it, but it is old. It came in the original Urban Decay Naked Palette. It needs to be gone, and it is a wonderful product. And then last but not least is a Jouer Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. And that's where I am on that. This probably came in a birch box years ago. And it is a very light, like baby pink color. It looks lovely on the lips. It's easy to slap on every day, you know, give you some treatment. Like while as I start my makeup, I'll put it on or just anytime throughout the day. So I hope this goes pretty fast too. So, and then my own individual rules. I don't know other people may do this they may not because I'm a little unsure about everything say I'm going on these and everything is empty but say this is still kicking it and it's like holding me back from finishing a project pan and I finish my mascara then I will substitute the mascara for the project pan and then I'll use this in my next project pan so it's not like I'm just gonna get rid of it I'll keep using it and this is still a makeup product granted it's a mascara other than my waterproof mascara, I have plenty of mascaras, so it's still things that I'm going to be using out of my collection. So that will be my rule. I will allow substitutions, but only for makeup, not like my moisturizer. So, okay, 
I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this series on my channel. Um, it, it's definitely new to me. I hope it doesn't, I don't know. Um, oh, also my, a lot of people that do the project pan, they do like a weekly makeup basket and a project pan update. I'm not going to do weekly makeup baskets, but I think I will start doing a monthly makeup basket because I think you guys really enjoy those anyways. And I've done them for the past two months. So I'm going to do a monthly makeup basket and update you on my project pan with that video. So I'm only going to have project pan updates once a month. If I finish a project pan mid-month, then I may do that. I don't know. We'll just have to see how that goes. But I'm not going to have weekly makeup baskets or weekly project pan updates because I don't think I'm going to use that product fast enough to warrant a weekly update. And I do have a lot of other videos that I want to put on my channel. And if I was doing that, then that would take up a whole video a week. And I don't want to do that. So anyways that's my plans. I hope you guys enjoy it and I guess that's all. I will see you later. Bye!